Yeah, I'd like to talk a little bit just briefly about the implicate and explicate order. This was, um, these were ideas that were created by David Bohm, uh, who'd been struggling with the question is why, why, do, why does physics have these two separate theories, one relativity, one quantum theory? They don't seem to merge together, and despite decades of work by very good physicists, they haven't been unified, and clearly there's something wrong. It's a unified world we live in, there must be a unified theory. Um, and what he began to think was that physics needed not a new theory or new mathematics, but a radically new order to it. Uh, just as much as there was a paradigm shift when we realized the Earth was not the center of, of everything, but uh, the Sun, the Earth revolved around the Sun. So similarly, we have to have some sort of shift. And that shift was to see that, that the, what we've taken as reality, what we've taken, what was described very well by N Isaac Newton, the laws of physics, is, is a world in which you have well-defined objects that, that are all located in space and time and interact via, via fields and forces. And Bohm called that the explicate order. But beneath that is, is something you see at the quantum level, which is more processes and flux and change. And Bohm called, saw that as being an aspect of what he called the implicate order. So in the implicate order, the explicate is sort of enfolded in the implicate. Uh, and, and the explicate unfolds out from the implicate. So the implicate could be thought of as a ground, a, 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 deeper, a deeper level, a deeper reality. And in this deeper reality, mind and matter are unified. They're not, they're not two separate things. In, in our explicate world, yes, we say there's the mind-matter divide, the Cartesian split. But in the, in the implicate world, uh, the two are one. So that was Bohm's notion of an implicate order. And... Um, I think it's, 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 a, it's interesting that it appealed a lot to uh, writers and it appealed a lot to, to artists, like David Hockney was very interested in it, Anish Kapoor, Anthony Gormley were interested in it, uh, Ian McEwan, the novelist, uh, d dedicated one of his books to David Bohm, and I said, was that because of the implicate order? And he said, oh no, you know, as a, as a writer I knew that's the way the world was. So it's interesting that for, for artists and, 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 and writers saw the world already like that, but science was still seeing it in the old way.